Hello and welcome to another video all about Fantasy Crown's uh, Unity. Uh, some time ago I made a video on how to uh, get a, an asset or an image into your campaign. Uh, that video is now completely out of date because things have moved on and there are now a whole bunch of tools uh, which allow you uh, various ways in which to get images into your campaign. And uh, in this video we're going to show you uh, how to do that exactly. Now before we actually start, um, it's worth taking a look at the file structure for the Fantasy Grounds data folder and where images could be. Um, and in the top level of the folder here, we've got a file called, or a folder called images. And if we open that, you can see that I've got a bunch of images uh, in that folder. Uh, if we go to our campaigns folder and then scroll down to the campaign that we are actually in, you'll find another folder with images and if we open that we can see that there are also images in there. Uh, so these are the two places where you'll find images uh, either in the uh, images folder within the campaign or in the top level of the Fantasy Grounds uh, data folder in the, images, in the images folder there. So these two folders, I actually get rid of this, uh, these two folders actually uh, can be seen if we click on the assets and then images. We can see that there's the first two uh, bags here are the campaign and if we open that, uh, that's the same images as we saw in the uh, campaign images uh, subfolder. And if we go back to the top and look in data, uh, these are the images which are in the uh, images folder in the top level. Uh, of the Fantasy Grounds data folder. Uh, so now that we've uh, learned how to uh, or where images might be, we can start thinking about importing some images into this campaign. Now the original method still works, so if we open up our images and maps folder here, we can see we've got nothing uh, in the actual campaign so far. Um, but since we've got this uh, window open, we can drag one of these in and we can drop it into the uh, uh, images and maps folder and uh, there we have that image is now in our campaign. It's still in the original folder it is, all we've done is just copied that in there. And that's the original way that we uh, did it, uh, but now there are uh, many more tools available to us. Um, if we uh, go back to our uh, campaign folder here, uh, we can see the images that are in the uh, campaign images folder. And if we double click on one of these, this will open a sort of preview and at the bottom there is a button which says create image record from asset. If we click that, then it will open up the image, but it will also add the image uh, to our campaign. So that's the first method that you can use uh, to get an image uh, into uh, the campaign more easily. And the second method, um, if we go up to the images and maps uh, folder here, we can see that there's a button here, uh, create from campaign assets. Uh, if we click that, uh, then we'll get this dialog to say, are we sure? And if we click yes, then all the images which are in the uh, campaign images folder are automatically then added to the campaign all in one go. Uh, so now we've got all of these images out of the campaign images folder uh, into our campaign and they're ready to be used. Now one thing you might have noticed down here in the chat is it said image record with the same name already exists, Aura of Life. So we'd already added Aura of Life into uh, our campaign. So it's not duplicated that when we, uh, we imported or created all of these uh, from the campaign assets, the Aura of Life one uh, wasn't duplicated that only brought in the other ones that uh, we didn't uh, that didn't already exist in the campaign. So that's a useful feature of the create from campaign assets. If you add more uh, images to that uh, folder and then create from campaign it'll automatically import the additional images and it won't uh, import any images that already exist uh, in the campaign. Uh, now the third method uh, that you can get images in there is the import files button from the images and maps folder. If we click that then this opens up a standard uh, Windows dialog uh, and it points by default to the Fantasy Ground images folder in the top level uh, of the FG data. And now these files that I'm trying to import are actually PNG files so we'll change that to PNG and we can see now all the uh, files that are in that uh, Fantasy Ground Images folder. 
uh, we can uh, now select the files that we want to add in in the usual method. So if we hold down uh, Shift, uh, it'll uh, select everything from the start to the end. Um, if we hold down CTRL, uh, we can uh, be more selective of the images that we want to select. Uh, and once we've done that, we just click Open and the images will automatically be added to your campaign. And you'll also notice that the images have also been added into the campaign uh, images folder. So uh, that uh, is an easier way to uh, bulk import a number of images which are not already in the uh, campaign images folder. They could be somewhere else. Now when you go to import files, you can see that you've got the option of going anywhere. So your files don't need to be in the Fantasy Ground images folder. They can be uh, anywhere you uh, want, uh, anywhere you like, and you can just navigate using the various uh, Windows uh, Explorer uh, functionality to find the images that you want. Uh, now there's one last thing that's worth showing you and that's this little button here, the refresh button. Um, if we uh, go back into our uh, images window here and let's supposing we want to uh, take this file here, Morden Kynan's uh, image, if we uh, copy that uh, and then go back into our campaign images folder and just paste it in there. If we have a look now at the campaign, we can see that that file isn't showing up in this uh, asset window. But if we refresh the folder assets, uh, then the file is then now available, and you can now then just uh, go in and import that uh, in the same way uh, uh, as we showed you before, and there it is in our campaign. Uh, so I think that's about it. So plenty more ways to import images into your campaign now, um, uh, making it uh, much easier to get a bunch of images into the campaign uh, quickly and easily. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.